Alright guys, I get a lot of questions asking about my western tack on Instagram and how I tack him up and what I tack him up in, so I figured I'd make this quick video. I also see a lot of curiosity and misunderstanding and frankly accusations about me tacking him up western being an 18 hand hunter type horse and it's literally just work tack. I ride him no differently than I do in an English saddle. It's just more comfortable because I prefer to wear jeans and it's just more simple to tack him up in and it's more even weight distribution. Simple things like that. It's also just a really common thing in my world of riding. We do the hunter on our saddle with the quarter horse breed shows, and it's just something you really see quite often. Um, a lot of trainers that have a lot of horses to ride, it's just easier to get through with the western work saddles, and it's just different styles of riding. But anyways, as I would, no matter what style I'm riding, I start with currying him and brushing him down. He obviously wears a blanket all day, but I like to still curry him because he is a very itchy boy and it helps him get nice and shiny and sleek. Then I attack his mane with the Solo Rake, which I got off Amazon. It's basically kind of a pulling comb, except without the pulling part, but it helps thin out his mane, and he has a very nasty, thick mane. Then I detangle his tail a little bit. At this point, I hadn't put his tail bag in yet because the flies were still out, but in the winter, I normally do keep a tail bag in him to prevent the mud from soaking in. And right along with that, I go ahead and fly spray him a little bit. I obviously picked his feet out before this, I just forgot to film it so don't come for me, but then I go ahead and wrap his legs. As far as leg wraps go, it really comes down to personal preference. I always prefer polos because I feel like I can control the tightness and um, the security of them more so than boots, that's again just my personal preference, um, but it also really depends on what type of riding you're doing and, the in doing and the intensity of it. Sometimes I'll do no wraps at all if it's just a light ride and I want them to toughen their legs up a little bit. Sometimes I wrap all around, sometimes just the fronts. It really again just depends on what type of riding. These are just your basic navy polos. I think I got them from Dover. I just prefer something that's navy or black personally. And when it comes to my western saddle pad, I have two one pads. I have a thicker one and a thinner one. I got the thinner one per recommendation of my saddle fitter because Diesel is big and wide. It fits him a little bit better. And I like the neoprene underside because I can just spray it off when I'm done and it really helps them sweat. The saddle you see here is my favorite saddle in the world. It is a custom Steve Flick training saddle. I had it custom made by him up at the Congress. I also have a secondary saddle, it's a Billy Cook work saddle that I use on horses that I don't really trust with this one, or you know, colts, young horses, whatever. But this is definitely my favorite saddle to ride in. I also just want to take a minute to highlight this one little trick I have for you guys. Again, when it comes to tying the cinch, it comes down to personal preference. This is how I prefer to do it. I will sometimes do it the other way, but this is just how I normally do it. I prefer my cinch to be nice and snug. Sometimes when you put it in the holes that you see on the cinch, you can't always get it as snug. So I loop it like I normally do and then tie it behind and then tuck it down just like that. And this way you can tighten it as need be. So if you have a cinchy horse, you can tighten it slowly as they move around. And then when it comes to untying it, it's as simple as pulling the top out and unlooping it. And I'll also show you guys a simple trick for tying it up while it's on the rack. You just fold it in half, tuck it behind, and then just like you did a second ago, you're going to bring it behind the tie ring and lock it down like that. So that way when you go to take it off, it's as simple as pulling it out and then you can loop it through the girth. This is how it looks when it's done. And I have my professional's choice girth. Girth, can't talk today. My favorite girth, absolutely. And this is the final setup, and you can see the customization on the saddle right there, and my leg marks from riding in it. Another thing I forgot to record, of course, is pulling the wither part of the saddle pad up into the towards the saddle horn, just kind of take the pressure off their withers as much as possible. When it comes to headgear, I use a Harris one-ear headstall with a Harris rolled noseband. I find it a lot easier to have a collection of head stalls with different bits. This one just has a regular snaffle. I'll film the hunt seat version next. Thank you guys for watching.